Now, over 7 million of us tr uh, tuned in, a fitting tribute to Deidre and indeed Anne Kirkbride, who died earlier this year. It was such a sad show, wasn't it? It was, but it was... It, I really appreciated the fact it was, it was beautifully Coronation Street. So they didn't do some big, you know, car... She's been in a car accident or... It was just beautifully underplayed. The writer, Jonathan Harvey, who's a superb writer, um, and that little poignant touch, a lot of people that have suffered loss say that sometimes you're completely shocked when you're told and then it's, it could be a week later when you just find, I don't know, like a hairbrush or something and it's a, an object that triggers. Yes. Yeah. And so I thought that was a, a really, really lovely I touch. I did, it was yeah. the glasses because yeah. that's what you think of when, mm. when you think of yeah. Deirdre, of is, those, is those big glasses. Mm. Uh, what I found when I was watching it was Every time somebody cried, I just couldn't help but thinking those tears must be real because yes. obviously they've mm. lost her in mm. real life and mm. in particular Ken, when he broke down at the end, oh gosh, that really got me, that did. And yeah. the great thing about it was it was so Coronation Street in the way that none of the other soaps are and the way that they can give you the serious, the gravitas and then the humour. Yeah. Mm. And uh, they've, all, they've been brilliant from that since, since it began. Yeah. It was yeah. beautifully written. It really was. Well, well done yeah. everybody involved with that last night. <laughs>